Hello, I'm Jay Barino. Welcome back. Playing some miscellaneous StarCraft II stuff in between the two scattered campaigns. Alavis from Team Antioch reached out to me and said that his team had cleaned up an unfinished mission that takes place about a third through uh, Antioch Chronicles Thoughts and Chaos, which is the third episode of the Antioch Chronicles. I'd encourage you to go and watch the whole series. It was really fun. You should play it for yourself. Uh, so I'm going to play Air Superiority. A long time ago, the mad Judicator Severak fought against the Conclave and slaughtered untold numbers of his own kind. Japak fought against him to stop this madness. All right, assault ships are manned with many soldiers. Expect heavy resistance when boarding them. So this is supposed to take place right before the boss fight with Severak. Which was its own mission. Ire hundreds of years ago. Brace yourselves, Templar. The assault ships are using their siege weapons against us. We have located Severak's army. The time for justice has come. Loriak, you will command our air forces. Yes, Master. What is my mission? Severak has deployed his heavy assault ships against us. Your mission is to destroy them. We will send you air reinforcements should you need them. Make haste, Loriak. Severak's ships must not be allowed to besiege us any further. <laughs> I like the screen wipe. Infiltration. Hmm. Okay. Destroy the first assault ship. The color guides me. Okay, so Lorek has si psychic suppression. Sounds like disruption web. Can only attack air units. Krillian would improve upon the ship's weapons in the future, allowing it to attack both air and ground units. We know that in the future, Krillian's got the Phoenix attack from the Corsair. At this point in time, the protest had yet to develop countermeasures for Dark Templar and other hidden units. As a result, both the Observer and the Photon Cannon cannot detect cloaked units. An assault ship is smaller than a carrier. It lacks vertical space in particular. As a result, air units barely have enough height to fly inside and are colli colliding with the inner walls. I mean, we're able to fly in here. Basically, it's just saying there's air blockers, so you don't have... You can only move within the confines of where ground units can go, I suspect. Okay. So, they can't see our observer. Our observer is essentially invulnerable. Because nothing can detect it. That's my understanding here. So, the obvious choice, <coughs> I think, is to disruption... Oh, I thought it would be larger than that. We're going to have to Disruption Web, or we just go around a different way. Let's look around. Let's check with Loriak. We have some some normal guys here. I think we can handle this. So let's move on in and, and kill some Zealots. Go get them. Focus fire, focus fire. Pro micro skills, losing only 3 HP. Jay Barino. All right, so let's head on up here. I'm going to avoid this middle section. Oh, that's right. Our observer can only... Uh, it's the same with our observer. It can't can't go around certain areas. I like the design of the inside of this ship. There was, I think, another mission like this when we were on uh, Tyrodune's carrier or his assault ship or whatever, where we were escaping. That was really cool, too. It looked really nice. Entire Adun. So we can fly up here, because I'm going to very, very slowly destroy this. And we might be able to do the same back here based on the range of our scouts. I don't know if they have the sight range upgrade. Probably not, considering that's an upgrade that happens hundreds of years later. Severax heretics. Okay, well, I'll see you in approximately 10 to 20 years when this is all done. <clears throat> what I'd like to do 
We'll kill the these zealots in the same way, but I, I want the scouts fire support basically to help kill these. I always say this on micro missions like this, but it's like those old scenario maps on use map settings, Brood War. There's like impossible teal, impossible cyan. And there were eight players, and each player had one or two units max into different scenarios. You had to work together to very meticulously pick apart AI opponents. What I could probably do is shoo these down to us one at a time. Perfect. Now, there's another one there. I think maybe we just... Well, I was going to say, I think we just avoid that. I mean, he could go down and around and do the same thing, or we just run in and kill that one photon cannon. I'm leaning towards that. Well, this one can see us, so we're going to have to... Wow, 20 seconds is quite long. Is there a cooldown on this? Because otherwise you just... Dematrix all of them. Nothing stands against the color. Never not enough energy. For okay, not enough energy. Let's just move up here. Whoa, whoa, back up, back up. His energy regens pretty quick, so I'm not too concerned here. I just realized we're on a no, we're not on a lower game speed. It just feels kind of sluggish because that's how fast zealots moved in the past, which was not fast essentially. Okay, yeah, it's 125. See, we can already hit this one, and then we fly in and we destroy it. Yeah, 20 seconds again is pretty significant. And, uh, yeah, our zealots can't attack. That's old school D Matrix. It's not StarCraft 2 D Matrix for babies, where you can attack through your own defense matrix, but the enemy can't. All right, so where's that fatty observer that I've not been used using, even though it's incredibly strong and useful. <coughs> okay, so we're like halfway through again. If you don't have to engage groups of three cannons, then don't. Let me just double check. Again, I, I don't see a reason to kill everything if we don't have to. Okay, so we made it through the first section. It looks like there's gonna be like three distinct, almost puzzle-esque sections that we're gonna have to fight through and figure out the best way to do it. We're gonna have to babysit our air units because they're gonna get blocked against the, again, their air blockers, which are the walls. Something that, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be addressed to the player to say, like, hey, your ships can't get through. Oh, why is this one red? Oh, they're all different colors. It's because they're, they're heretics! Okay, so, let's see if there's a way we can maybe sneak around them. We want to scout and see... So we can go down and around. We can dematrix. That's not what it's called. We can disruption web both of these. I love the look of Severax Dragoons. I love them. Okay, well, I think we just have to take these head on, essentially. I mean, I could also move in and kind of like push them away from us. Like this, and now we only engage two at once. Nope, never mind. They're all gonna come. That's fine. That's fine. Back them out. Okay, not bad. And then we could, again, dematri or disruption web here, but I think instead we just go around. There's no reason to engage these. We're gonna have to probably kill those uh, dragoons, though, for sure. Well... For I mean, it's like, I, I hate to have to sit here and wait for shields to come back on zealots. But we really don't have a lot of units, and our only ability to use is psychic suppression, which is not a lot. I like how this is the, the precursor to Disruption Web, the way it's... <clears throat> it, the way it's, uh, described. The Dark Templar rediscovered the technology and invented the Disruption Web based on old schematics. That's cool. The color guides me. Okay, let's attack here. Looks good, and then what I can do is lure the Dragoons to us, or just avoid them entirely. Indeed, okay. So we're all the way in. This guy will get his shields back slowly. 
I see one pylon here. We might have to just keep going around, like down this way. We have to check what's down there first. Um, why don't we just disruption web here and then hit the pylon. <clears throat> no zealot legs. What are you doing, Japak? You got to upgrade this stuff. I understand. It's so far in the past, they don't have the technology yet to increase how fast they can run. They gotta increase their workouts. Okay, so up here... It looks like the only... Well, maybe there's... There might be a way from a different path. Obviously, I don't want to run up this ramp. Like, there's almost bound to be another way. Actually, I don't think there is another way. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's like defense cannons on the outside, too. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so let's... Can we fit over these walls? Yes, okay. So we come down and around and we hit the pylon here. Alright, and then once again, it's going to take a long time, unfortunately. We can let these things do their thing. I don't think dematrixing the zealots would help. They're just going to run out of it, right? So... There's three of these... I think we're just going to have to kill those. Again, just having the scouts help us will just reduce the amount of damage we take on all of our zealots. So I think it's absolutely worthwhile to wait for the scouts. Even though I can't, I don't, I probably shouldn't be agonizing over this too much. If I had to guess, there's probably another assault ship. Because otherwise it wouldn't say, destroy first assault ship. It would say, destroy assault ship. So, let's fight our way through this. And again, the goal, we only have to get to the end. We don't have to kill everything. So, like, we just... Now we just have to kind of walk. I guess we could kind of shoo these guys away. No, I was just saying, then we just walk by them. Right? So... Where's my observer? Go and check what's over here before we get too crazy. Mr. Super Spy. So we knew how to make things invisible, but not how to see the invisible things we were making. For Antioch. For Antioch. Crap, they see us. Flee! Okay, turn and fight. Moving our zealots in and out, baby. Okay, fine. Considering I'm not willing to wait that long. Destroy first convoy. Quick save. Gloriak, our observers are reporting many supply convoys in your vicinity. If you can disable them, it will surely aid against Severak. Hmm. For okay. Let me check around here to see if there's a way that we could destroy the the pylons here. You know what? Let's wait for this convoy. It's not that much HP. We should be able to kill this pretty easily. We'll wait for it to move past this group, and then we got a clear shot on it. I I think it's, it's coming with a scout. Loriac could probably kill the scout. I just don't want to engage the zealots also. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, okay, and Loriac can also kill the, uh, attack the, um, the shuttle, which is technically flying. Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're technically flying, so even the zealots can't hit it. Okay, no problem. One thing that I really liked were how the bonus objectives actually led to something. So, I don't know how this one would lead to other things in other maps. I don't think we'll ever know because this is not technically part of the campaign, but it's just neat that that was always, that was an option at all in the first place. Nope. You know what, let's hit this one, just so we have more room to maneuver once we get back here. One cannon, I think we can handle. We just hit it with the disruption web and we're, we're in the clear. Very slowly. Okay. So hit this. Then get in there. Not zealots, though. You can't do anything. Looks like we're at the end. Door generator. Open the door. Maybe one last fight. Come on. <laughs> Alright, hit this.
Looks like we're like 90% through the ship. This has got to be the bridge. All right, six zealots. I think we can handle this if we take them one at a time. Also, we have scouts. We have scouts, so there's no way that they could... I mean, there's no way we could lose, is what I'm saying. Like, they can't... They, there's no way that they could react to these. We're gonna have to destroy the assault ship core. I guess just fly over there with the... Now, that would take as long as killing a pylon. Let's just individually kill these things. Okay, we didn't lose any zealots after all that. I would hate to, to lose these brave... ...assaulting zealots. This ship will threaten us no longer. Boryok, you must destroy the second soon. We got three scouts this time. This reminds me of the... Battle for Braxis map in Brood War, where you get uh, individual units with Artanis and go around and have to destroy the generators. No, not a Reaver! I resent the implication. Okay, well, if that first part was... Any, uh... Oh, this is interesting. It's actually the same ship, but the... Everything's replaced. Because you can see, as you go through the fog of war, you can see the units disappear- appearing and disappearing. Interesting. Well, maybe we just... We only have 300 minerals, so we have to be judicial with our... Scarabs. It looks like we're gonna have to go through this area no matter- I think we want to go through the front. I think we're gonna want to go through the front in any case. So let's, uh... Snag this. Back up. I wish there was a hold fire for the Reavers. I've always said this. I've always said I really wish there was a hold fire for them. What I'm going to do is throw this down. Just so that I can lure the scouts to me. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, attack the, attack the Dragoon, you fool. Okay, cool. There's an enemy reaver there. I think what I'm gonna have to do is dematrix this, dematrix this again, or disruption web this again. Flee, flee, flee. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. And then you guys escape. And then, same thing, we do this, and then you guys destroy this, and then we can hit the two pylons for virtually free. Nope, not quite virtually free. <laughs> uh, maybe with the scouts as well. And we can always, we just wait for energy and we pick these off one by one. Eh. Nah. I don't want to... Again, I, I'm going to have too good to use Syndrome with this Reaver, I think. Unfortunately. But if we don't need to use it, I'm not going to use it. So I think we... I think we just do this? And then we back up and then we do it again. Yeah, let them attack. That, that's fine. Okay, and then we have to do the same thing once we have enough energy, which we should very soon. Well, we do now, actually. So we do this. All right, and then let's see what's behind this. This will depower everything, and then we can just walk through. I think the idea is you use a reaver and you can blast these photon cannons from the low ground, but again, I got too good to use syndrome, unfortunately, with my reaver. So we're gonna leave him in the back and use a move command a lot with him so that he doesn't accidentally shoot at stuff that we don't want him to shoot at. 
Also, I hate them. I hate, I hate him. I hate this Reaver. It's the worst. Okay. Is this like Voltron Zealots? I don't think there's a, a better option here. I think we just blast him with the Reaver. And then we go up and around. There's only one Dragoon. Seems pretty easily avoidable. Then the pylons are put in locations that we can very easily destroy. So I think we <coughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to destroy these. Let's do the same thing with the um, with the scouts. Let's draw them to us first. Okay, I kind of screwed up their ability to attack, but it, I think this is fine. Reaver, you don't have to... There we go. Alright, so that allowed our scouts to slowly pick them away, and... Did we even take any hull damage on anything? No, we didn't! Alright, rebuild those scarabs. Lorax, Lorax getting his shields back. So we want to go up and around. I think there was, like, one Dragoon, right? So no big deal. Yeah, one Dragoon. Silly Reaver. God, I love the look of these Dragoons. They did a really good job with these. It's my, I think this is my favorite custom Dragoon model that I've seen. Mass Recall's changed, changed them out a few times. I think this is my favorite, though. I'm not sure if these are the ones used for, uh, for Mass Recall or not, though, at this point. New version of Mass Recall coming out soon, as far as I know. Okay, so this this will let us get by. We might have to actually go down and do the. No, stop it. We have to go down and do this on the other side. No, it looks like we can go up just through here, and we don't have to worry about the other direction. Assuming we can walk through that little force field, and I am like ninety percent sure the answer is we can. I like this too. It forces it forces you to be judicial. And not just walk through and a click your way there. You have to decide. Okay, I want it. There are like two or three different paths in each section, and you have to decide which one you want to take each time, which I think is great. Okay, I guess we cannot walk through there. My observer was able to get through. Okay, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Maybe we have to use our air units to do something, or we can always check down there. Alright, that's an easy get right there. We're gonna have to do the same thing here, it looks like. Let me go down and around, destroy the pylons. There are no other units, though. Naturally, this one is open, but this one is closed. Alright, so we have to go down and around and do the same thing. That's fine. That's fine! Then we can split our units up to destroy the pylons and kind of get that show on the road. Alright. My god. <laughs> I just want to attack this single pylon. Stop, stop. Alright, fine. You know what? One Dragoon at a time. Fine. Do it. Alright. And then, in approximately 20 years, we'll be ready to proceed. We use the Scouts. Well, no, we just use the Dragoons. Come in and do the same thing. We just hit the pylon. We should be able to actually use all three of them to slowly get it. Come on. There we go. Now we can make our way down here. I'm not sure why this one's blocked off, but the other one isn't. Maybe just a visual choice. I have no idea. <clears throat> Onward to battle. Okay, so we're going to come down here. We're going to destroy this pylon. We're going to go up, destroy the other pylon. We should be able to very easily walk. Don't get that. Stop. 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 Ah! Okay, turn and fight. And again, I could. I guess I could use the Reaver 
we're already about halfway through, so there's like two more areas, including the command area, so I really don't think... This is a problem that we've, you know, taken some damage here. It's fine. So I'm going to have to come up here and do the same thing. We know that there's, there may be another Dragoon tucked in the corner, or maybe that was the only Dragoon there, I'm not sure. So we're going to... There was another one. So let's not lose a Dragoon to this, please. You know what? Just, just bomb it. Just dive it. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Flee! Ah! Where are you, scouts? Save us! That was dirty. We lost a brave zealot to the devil himself. Alright. There we go. And this is why, I mean, we have an invulnerable observer that I have not used. No, no. You stay back. We're gonna need your scarabs for other stuff. Looks like there's nothing up here, which is good. Good for me. Zealots and Dragoons. That's, you know, Reaver Blast there. Probably gonna be another, um... Another convoy thing. Which probably means we're gonna want to... Clear out the pre-placed units before we do anything else. So let's move up here, and then we're gonna squirm our Reaver here to take, like, one or two shots at this small group. And, you know, whittle them down, and then we can come down here, take this one out, and then... The cannons are kind of in the way, but I think we just take them out with, um, D-Matrix. Or Disruption Web. And then we've got this top area kind of in the clear. So we're gonna shoot here. Do that. Gloria, Severac has called for another convoy. Hit this. Hit this. Alright, those are down. We should be able to kill it before we have to do anything with this other... You know what, let's just kill this. Not my Reaver! Stay away from my Reaver! He's mine! If anyone's killing this Reaver, it's gonna be me, goddammit. <laughs> It's an interesting bonus objective because you have a limited amount of time and it just it just starts without you really realizing that something is happening at that moment. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. So we can go top or bottom. This is fine down here. Aloriok has enough to deweb twice, or at least he will when we need him to here in about 10 seconds. Take a drink of water to stay hydrated. No, stop. You fool. See, this is why Reavers are stupid. A hold fire option on Reavers would be excellent. I understand the limitations in StarCraft 1. Maybe that was something that you could do. I don't know. Or you could go the iQuare route and make it so that they auto-build Scarabs and the Scarabs are free. <laughs> Which is, you know, really strong, as you could imagine, but... Oh, hello, Mr. Dragoon. Mr. Zebra Dragoon. Okay, so I think there's going to be one more enemy engagement, and then the door control, and then the bridge defenders that we're going to have to deal with. So let's see what's over here. Mr. Observer, check it out. You squirm your way up. The fact that we've got the Reaver with enough money to build more stuff is means we're probably going to be fine, uh, no matter what happens here. So let's just attack and attack. And then that Loriac Energy Beam does a ton of damage. A ton of damage. Even to armored stuff. You'd think it would be only be versus light, but that's just because that's the Phoenix attack, so you expect it's only versus light. Uh, I hate that. We obviously can't just run in here. So what I'm going to do is try to get those Dragoons clumped up, and then we'll deweb them. Okay, 
That's weird. I wonder if they programmed it to do that so that it would just start moving towards you no matter what. Okay, now we're fine. So you all move in. And we basically just gotta attack, and that's fine. So everybody go. Okay, we're losing some stuff. It'll be fine. Our scarabs are getting path blocked. We lost, like, our whole ground force, but that's because I got lazy and just wanted to attack in there. So now we destroy this thing. Assault ship core. Cool. I don't... I don't know. I wonder if maybe some of our units carried over from ship to ship. There might be another one. You have done well, Lorian. But one ship remains. Okay, there are three. And I say, if your units carry over like they did in Battle for Braxis, for example, then you're going to have less stuff per mission. I don't think that's the case, though. We still got our three scouts. Let's check our ground forces. If they seem depleted at all, then, you know, that was the mistake. Ugh, another Reaver. Another Reaver. This ship layout is different. So this is a different ship. All right. Let us observe. Hotkey this stuff. For Antioch. For Antioch. We got more resources as well. Uh, yeah, there's no way through the front, so we're going to have to go up here. I'm just going to squirm up and attack these clowns, and then we'll be there to follow up. I've got... High Templar as well. Storm is always incredible. Okay, that's enough. Ah, don't don't let him attack the Reaver. What are you doing? Okay. Hallucination probably will also be quite useful. Wait, where's my observer? There it is. I see cannons. Maybe we just use the. Just use the Reaver for this. Not gonna mess around. And then there's a High Templar there also, which we can one-shot with a Scarab, I think. So I think we, we hit this, and then we blast away at this. Come on! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm not sure the best way to have done that anyway, so... I can't afford to get close because it, it will get killed. Alright, actually, we can use D Web on this now and let our Reaver regenerate a bit. So we just do this and then this. Okay, we're stuck in our own. D web here, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. That could have been better. Uh, what I should have done is just stormed. More options here. Get get me a little flustered. Okay, so we're gonna come down here. Mr. Observer. Okay, so we're done with the first section. We didn't lose anything, but we took some hull damage on different stuff. No 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 no. Right there. Okay, so we lost two zealots there. Could be worse. As long as our, dra our dragoons and scouts are the things that really matter here, I think. And then obviously the reaver. That was a lot of units. I just didn't scout for them because I'm a fool. All right, start looking ahead. I'm moving a little bit faster in this section. Oh, there's another. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna de the de web this. And then attack this. Not you, Loriok. Oh, great. Okay, so you guys hit this. Now we can pick this off. Wait, did it look like air units were also affected by the D-Web? Was that 
Am I crazy? Okay, I guess let's at least check the sides. It looks like we're gonna have to go through here one way or another and we just de-web both of these. He's almost- a, yeah, he has got enough energy to do that too, so. Yeah, see, it's closed off, or at least one of them is closed off, so let's just de-web both. And we hit this. Poor Zealots. Poor Zealots. I think probably- well, let's squirm our Reaver up. Probably want to be hallucinating would be better, especially in like large engagements. It's just gonna cause mass confusion. Okay, that's closed. Nope, still closed. Let's check up here. Let's quick save also, because you never know. So, I guess you guys stay in the back. You stay in the back. Uh, I just saved. <laughs> I am a fool. It's not invulnerable. You can, you think it's invulnerable, but it's not invulnerable. They just have no way to see it. So don't storm it. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. You come on through here. I guess I could technically kill the... Wait, is this closed now? What's happening here? It seems like now we can walk through this. Sometimes you can walk through and sometimes the game says no. Yeah, that one we can walk through. Really, it's really just the cannon emplacements are the only areas where you really gotta be judicial with how you approach different things. Alright, this shouldn't be bad. Focus fire. Focus fire. Oh! I moved the wrong one. Well, losing a scout there is not pretty, but I think we'll be fine. Again, we're kind of... I feel like we're close to the end, so let's... Push onwards. Do we have... We don't have anything that feedbacks. We really don't have a good answer to the High Templar. That's the problem. Uh, other than baiting storms maybe with... Like the scouts or, you know, whatever. Force them to use their energy... Okay, so now he doesn't have enough energy to storm, so we can just get in there. Kill this asshole. And they, they blow all their energy real quick. I should not be chasing him. There's probably going to be a convoy here, so let's get into position. We still have our observer, so we can actually look. <laughs> convoy three. Oh, there's more stuff on the high ground now that we're going to have to deal with if we want to... I mean, we just, I think we can just dematrix or deweb this like normal, and it should be fine. We can also storm the Dragoon that's up there. So we're gonna do this, move in. No. Okay, so we should be fine against this convoy. We can always storm any incoming scouts, because we know that they like bringing more scouts. Plus, Loriak is pretty strong. Okay, pretty good. More scouts, actually. Let's just keep, keep the storms going. They're focusing on my... on my ground units rather than Loriak, so that's actually good. Okay, cool. So that's all the convoys. I don't know why I'm too concerned about the bonus objectives, because again, they're not going to provide us any benefits in the future, but they're just, they're fun. They're fun to do, so that's, that's why. Uh, you all hit this. Nobody can reach that, so we just very, very slowly, or we just D-Matrix. D-Web. Here. Kind of taking a risk there if there's, like, Reavers down here. Okay, looks like we've got a clear shot here. There's only two scouts for the door and then the bridge. 
where we're gonna probably, I mean, we also have, we're gonna have access to an Archon here if we want to use that, or we just storm the crap out of the stuff that's in there. No, no, you can't, you can't go that way. We've learned you can't fit through there. Sometimes you can, but not today. Uh, you know what, let's check to see if there's like a Reaver up here or anything before we, yeah, okay, that's fine. So, here, and here. Yeah, if you can bait their air units into attacking your ground units like that, you're going to be in really good shape. Okay. Quick save now. This will seemingly be the end. Rather than just running in there, maybe we played a little safer. There's just a high Templar. So I'm not, not too concerned. What we can do is... Yeah, bait that stuff. Walk through your own storm, you fools. Okay, and then... You know what, just do this. Just do that. How much energy? Almost enough. So let's get in there. Okay, he did have enough to storm there. As long as Loriac isn't dead, we're going to be fine. Archon doing a good job. There we go. Alrighty. So we hit this. Not you, Loria. Oh no, it's technically flying because it's a mothership course, so he can attack it as well. Excellent. The final assault ship has been destroyed. The way is clear. Return to base, Loria. I would have you stand by my side when we strike Severak down. There he goes. Could have used disruption web there, Loriac. Or psychic. Psychic Shield, or whatever it's called. Students, this day will forever be of light on our history. Severak has unearthed weapons from deep within Nightmare. Unchecked, he will sever our people from the Kala, thrusting us back into chaos. I know the revulsion you feel to have Protoss' blood on your hands. If I could face Severak alone, I would, and so save you from further burden. But I cannot risk failure. Severak's heresy must not be allowed to destroy our people. Join me in this final battle so that no Protoss need ever strike down another again. May Adun give us strength. So that no Protoss could strike down another? Womp womp. Cool. Mission complete! Bam! Victory! Still love that victory screen. You get the little roundup score screen as well. It's little details like this that I think give this campaign a real personality. I mean, there's a lot of things that do that here, but it's really just the missions have more to them than just a click micro mission or turtle in your base macro mission and then build a 200 army and go and win, you know? So that's what I think makes good scenario maps. But then on top of that, it's a campaign because there's a storyline. There's voice acting, which is really rare and uh, pretty well done here. Uh, there's interesting little quirks where, like, you can complete bonus objectives and then they give you little uh, adjustments later on in ways that you might not expect. That kind of stuff is always fun. Okay. Well, that is going to be the end for Antioch. I thought we had ended Antioch previously, but now this is the real end for Antioch. I'll tack this on to the end of the playlist. Uh, or maybe I'll, I'll squeeze it in somewhere, like, in the playlist where it belongs, which is right before you fight Severak. But I like this mission. I'm glad that they were able to kind of salvage it, as it were, because uh, they said that they just really couldn't figure out a way to make it work. 
but I thought this was fine. Again, it had like a battle for Braxis feel to it where you get these little groups. So it's like taking familiar units, familiar gameplay, and allowing you to have fun with it again and not feel too repetitive. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Bye now.